Okay, so you saw me, the last thing I did was set up the first uh, thick layer of oils, and now I, I've let that dry, and I'm coming back with another even thicker, but lighter layer of oil. So, I, just to show you what I'm talking about, okay, you can see the value of the, the greens in here, and now I'm coming in with a, even a lighter value, a little bit of sap green and, and yellow. It just takes that area and makes it pop. A lot of times, it's just a matter of making, um, with an oil painting, just the next layer a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Come down the mountain here and do the same thing. I'm going to flatten out this brush a little bit. And I flattened it out so that my actual brush strokes can be a little different than what I use for the leaves up there. And how do you flatten it out? Right here. Just load it with paint, load it with paint, and then flatten it, flatten it, flatten it, pull it back, load it with paint. Gotta go a long ways. So when I come up on the canvas at first, I look at how light that is. I, 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 I think, well, is, do you want a little lighter there? I said, yeah, lighter, but right now let's go into a little more of a darker uh, area of the painting. As it comes over here, it's just a little darker. Adding a little bit more light on that to show you what I'm talking about. Just a little lighter in here. Might barely even be able to see that. You can see it here more between this and this. I play back and forth with light and dark values. And different values of light, different values of dark. Just let me play and have a lot of different um, um, light and dark values. Don't just go light and dark, but put all sorts of values in between that. Okay, now look at this. This is what it was right here. And now it's more of this. And I'm going to take a little bit of this and put it on this side of the mountain since we have the light right in between there. We have the sunlight coming through here. I'm going to flatten the brush again. It's still a little bit punched up. Okay. I'm doing like just push the brush, drag it a little bit, whatever it takes, just keep your eye, your eye on the canvas, see what you're doing. Not so much knowing what you're doing as just trying different things and coming up with something, you go, oh, it's, work it's working now, so. It's not a gimmick that you learn with painting, it's just you learn that anything works, it's just not, not everything is perfect for everything. You know, you can't just uh, make uh, lines that go this way, dark black or blue or whatever. Just work with the general color, the greens, follow the contour of the mountain. So as you're following the contour, you're going, oh, it's starting to work. I just think about the shapes of the little valleys. And this would be a little valley right here and a little edge, a ridge coming down a little valley and little ridges. Okay, so what I did was I just started painting right over what I painted um, a few days ago, but lighter values on top of the darker values. Give it a little more, a little more uh, richness and depth to what I was doing. Okay, that gives you a good example of coming over the second layer.